Hi, Commissioner Gage Frohr here. I wanted to give a recap of our November 5th, 2024 Weber County Commission meeting. I have with me this morning, Mr. Charlie Ewart from our Planning Commission and Mr. Duncan Olson, the director of the Golden Spike Event Center. We talked about a couple of things this morning on the consent agenda. One of those was dealing with the uh, interlocal agreements we have with three or four cities to deal with inspections. Again, another example of what we do in Weber County to look at the taxpayer dollars, always putting that first. Duncan, I'm going to start with you. Duncan had some uh, requests in for approval dealing with what we have out there with the racetrack, which is chariot racing. Duncan, could you give us a little history on, uh, and I know, Dunk, I know that uh, chariot racing has been a big part of the Golden Spike Arena out there, Golden Spike track for a number of years. Tell us what we're yeah, doing right now. So the, the contract specifically was for this year's race season. The chariot racing, although it's dropped in numbers, it, it still is around. It still runs December, January, February, March. Um, rain, snow, cold, hot, they'll, they'll run. And so we're excited to bring them back this year. We, we have had a good partnership with with the racehorse community in general with helping take care and maintain the track out there we have one of the best racetracks in the region i'm biased but it it, it is a, a great place to race horses and so we're excited to have them come back we're excited to continue that partnership with them um, we also had a bunch of the rodeo stuff you know on on today's agenda we're getting ready for that that winter push our busy seasons that first quarter and so we're getting ready for for all the fun that that comes with that first quarter that's great and i'll just say this if you haven't been out to a chariot race or a horse race again we have one of the finest facilities if not the finest facilities in this state for horse racing for chariot racing take a saturday afternoon is when they're out there yep typically uh, take your family out and enjoy the events we have just another great example of one of the recreation facilities we have here in Weber County. I'm gonna turn some time over now to Charlie Ewart. We had a few changes dealing with uh, land use this morning and Charlie's gonna go through and explain what that, uh, what that envisions. Again, it's another uh, example of what we try to do here in Weber County to improve the quality of life for our kids and grandkids, giving them a place to live in Weber County in the future. Charlie, go ahead and tell us what we did. Thank you, Commissioner. So one of the things that we looked at today was a development agreement for the Winston Park subdivision. Winston Park subdivision had a, a rezone approved back in August with an initial development agreement approved back in August. After a little bit of um, back and forth with the developer and the county commissioners, there were a couple of adjustments made and then the development agreement was readopted today. So that was item number one. Item number two was an ordinance adopting some uh, new standards to our residential zones as well as adopting a couple of new residential zones. One being an R15 residential zone, so 5,000 square foot minimum uh, density and then uh, we, we took our R3 zone, which are multi multifamily zone, and we divided them into two separate zones. One being an R3 um, A, R3-A, which is our, um, attached uh, single family dwelling units, and R3-S is stacked single family dwelling units. So just creating new tools to put in the development toolbox. Um, none of these ordinances are applied to property yet, um, but uh, at some point in the future, a developer could ask for a rezone and it could be applied. Great. Uh, just another great example. We know we have growth that continues to happen in Weber County and across the state. The governor visited us last week and looked at one of our developments. Weber County takes the lead again on making sure that our kids and grandkids have an affordable place to live in the future. And along with what we do with economic development, give those people, give those kids and grandkids a place to work here in the county. So uh, appreciate both Duncan, Charlie being with us this morning and uh, two great examples why we continue to win in Weber County. Thanks, and uh, if you had any questions again, feel free to call any of your commissioners here at Weber County. Have a good day.